Okay, so there we go, guys. 986 yards. About as close as we can get to a thousand. Way out there to where our target's set up. Cameraman's out there getting her set up right now. So she's uh, a good piece out, as you can see. Okay, everybody, so cameraman's just on his way back. So I wanted to give you some perspective. This is where we're shooting from. And when I'm not looking through the scope, which is what you saw a second ago, we actually have some aluminum foil on the ball out there to give us a little better ability to see it. But that is where she set up out there at a thousand yards. I'm sorry, I'm not usually the camera guy. I'm the guy behind the trigger, but that's where she set up way out there. And here's where we are, way back here. So that little dot you see out there, kinda, that's a thousand yard shot. So that's definitely a good piece. And if you wanna chime in, please hang out after the video. I've got a small video section at the very end where I'm trying to answer a few questions on external ballistics, specifically the yaw uh, of the rounds out there at a thousand yards. So if that's something that you feel like you can contribute to, comment, uh, please hang out, leave a comment and uh, yeah, help us out. Thanks. All right, everybody. So here we are, 986 yards. See if we can't uh, get the shot lined up and make her happen again. There she is. And Can't tell if we got it. Okay, and right here you can see a hole with the daylight shining through with the hole that just got punched in the aluminum foil from the shot, followed by a second one that we made earlier. Okay guys, so here we are down range. Here's the aluminum foil that the cameraman set up. Here's the deflated ball. We haven't reviewed the footage off the GoPro yet, but I'm gonna take a wild guess. You guys are gonna see that before we did. Uh, but, looks like we were pretty darn close to dead on, because I'm seeing three holes in the aluminum foil. One, two, three. Uh, wasn't sure if I hit it at first because I expected more of a violent pop, to be honest with you. But hey, it is pretty thick rubber, I guess. You can see the holes coming through this year. So it looks like we were pretty much dead on uh, when we hit it. And uh, of course, these are kind of skim holes because at a thousand yards, the bullet's coming down at a downward trajectory. But you definitely can see the holes in that. And uh, if you zoom around there, we were way up on that ridge. Uh, we can zoom in at all, but either way, that's a that's a long way up there. We just hiked down here, so we were up on the further ridge on the left. So, so there we go. All right, I'll see you guys back at the uh, rifle here in a second. Hey everybody! So here we are back on the ridge where we we're taking the shots from. So that way down there is where we we're taking the shots. And I'll invite you to come around here and have a look at this guy here. So this guy here. Is the Remington 700 I've done a video on before. This was the one that was making the shots. I was using these guys here. Pardon the dirty case next, but those are my hand loads with uh, 208 grain ELDMs by Hornady. And uh, yeah, so this is the uh, Burris Eliminator 3 scope. Uh, gives you a good point of aim as long as you got your uh, bullet data in there uh, properly. So that is my uh, long range optic and uh and this is my long range rifle setup so obviously uh she'll do the job out at at least 986 yards i tried to get you guys to a thousand 986 is as far as we can reach today but it's been distance uh, it's been distance so hey i don't know if you're hearing me okay it's a little windy but uh we're gonna take and uh, have a little field snack here before we start the hike back to the house thank you for joining us today like and subscribe if you enjoy this content it helps keep us going uh, keeps the algorithm gods happy, I guess. And uh, until next time, 
have a good one and take care bye now okay so now we're back here at the house and uh, if you guys are still watching maybe you can help me out with something here list it in the comments below because i'm trying to figure a few things out and uh mainly regarding external ballistics of the bullet like yaw i don't do a lot of shooting out at a thousand yards uh this was uh my, about the farthest we've gone before this was just over like 650 or so so i can clearly see the the hits that you could see during the video where it kind of daylight started showing and uh, here you can see these these hits fairly clearly and then we got this guy here and this guy here thank goodness we had the aluminum foil on i got this little shot here that is uh, i believe some shrapnel from that first round that that hit and uh it seemed like it spit some rocks up uh, on the target because I was about a foot low into the right which wind was blowing uh, left to right so that made sense now as I'm coming down in here I can definitely see you know some holes high on the ball sorry winds blowing my stuff around a little bit which is to be expected got this one here that was near center and these are these are pretty clean holes then I've got these guys here which would have been near the bottom of the ball Oops, sorry. And uh, these guys here are uh, more like almost slits. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is if all of those holes came from shrapnel when I had that low shot, or what exactly is the yaw rate on a bullet? Say, a, in this case, a 30 caliber, so a 300 wind mag. Uh, I was using the G7 ballistic table to get it out there. That's what I put in my computer of my scope of that burst eliminator. But basically speaking, What's the yaw gonna look like on a bullet? You know, in other words, what's the angle of trajectory gonna be as it's coming in? I kind of thought it'd be coming at a slight down angle, but I wonder if it's coming at more of a down angle than I had initially anticipated. So if you're still watching the video, first of all, thank you. Uh, and more than that, if you're still watching, could you leave a comment? Just letting me know what maybe my 300 wind mag bullets are doing. I've looked some places online and I don't know. Uh, hopefully there's enough of a community of people out there that some of you guys can help me out. So I'm just kind of messing around with this. And I noticed a slight downward trajectory at 700 yards, but I'm wondering if that yaw really increases out there, even with the ELDM bullet. You know, uh, I'm wondering if that really increases out there at 1,000. So that might answer some of these questions if that downward trajectory was such that my bullets were hitting high on the ball and coming down and almost blowing out the bottom of the ball but i don't know if they'd be coming down at that steep of an angle so if you know the answer to that please comment let me know give me a little enlightenment i'm open to all suggestions so uh this has been a really fun experiment and thank you guys for coming along um okay well we'll see you bye now